Thank you for turning me on. I am 2XL, your robot buddy. Do we know each other? You look a little familiar. This program features Batman, the world's greatest detective, in an adventure called The Sizzling Scheme. You can join in and help the caped crusader. Every move you make can change what happens to Batman. But before we start, I have to know something. I just must. Have you played this program before? If you have played this program before, press yes. If you have not, press no. Press yes or no now. Are you sure? You do look a little familiar. I must have heard about you somewhere. I'm sorry. I must have made a little robot error. In any case, I am glad you are here. Two of Gotham City's worst villains, the Penguin and Mr. Freeze, have joined forces and are trying to take over Gotham City and destroy Batman. He needs your help. Listen to the adventurer and help guide him through the story by pressing the right buttons. Okay, now remember to always follow the instructions carefully and only press a button when you are told to. To begin, I want you to press any one of my buttons. That's right. To start this story, you can pick up your little finger, aim it towards your friendly little robot, and press any of my buttons now. in Gotham City. The middle of winter. Everything was very quiet, very still, very cold, very dark. Batman stood on the roof of Gotham's Twin Towers and looked down on the city. His eyes opened for crying. Across town, on top of the newly built 150-story Birdland building, a giant thermometer displayed the temperature for all the city to see. Twelve degrees. It's cold. That's probably why there's no crime tonight. All the criminals are inside where it's warm. But deep in his heart, Batman knew the cold never kept criminals away. This is your first opportunity, detective. What should Batman do? You decide. Press A if Batman should keep looking for crime from where he is, or B if he should go down into the streets and search for criminals. Press A or B now. <laughs> Using his batarang, Batman swooped down from the roof of the Twin Towers. And not a minute too soon. In Robinson Park, a little old lady walking her dog was being mugged. Batman dispatched the punks in a hurry. As they ran away and he chased them, Batman felt the ground beneath his feet rumble. He did not know it, but at that very moment, on the waterfront, a rocket with a secret payload was being blasted into space, and the noise and vibrations could be heard and felt throughout the city. What was that? Hearing the blast, Batman turned in time to watch the rocket streak into the night, leaving a fiery trail as it rose into the black night sky. I don't like this one bit. The Space Authority doesn't have a schedule of launching for the next three months. One thing's for sure, they wouldn't launch a rocket down by the waterfront. Something's definitely wrong. Well, detective in front of me, here is your second opportunity to help Batman. If you think Batman should take the back plane to follow the rocket, press A. Or do you think Batman should try to find the launching pad from where the rocket was launched? If you do think he should try to find the launching pad using the bat boat, press B. If you think he should use the Batmobile, press C. Press A, B, or C now. <laughs> It was only a few blocks to the river where the bat boat was waiting. Batman climbed aboard and sped away. It was so cold, huge blocks of ice were floating in the current, making the going very difficult. Out in Gotham Harbor, Batman had a better view of the heavens and the river bank where the rocket was blasted. He watched as the last faint fiery traces of the rocket disappeared in the dark sky before heading to shore. 
Once back on shore, Batman went to the waterfront location of the rocket launch. Whoever was responsible seemed to be long gone, but Batman found a clue. It was a little silver foil packet with the words, freeze-dried weather stamped on it. Batman wondered what freeze-dried weather was. He had never heard of such a thing. Batman returned to the Batcave. Beneath Wayne Manor was Batman's huge underground headquarters. All around him, Batman could see the dozens of enormous caverns filled with the equipment he used to fight crime. When he turned the computer on, dozens of TV monitors flickered to life. Batman punched in the words, Freeze Dried Weather, and waited for the computer to search its memory banks. Within seconds, the screens in front of Batman lit up. All kinds of freeze-dried products appeared. Everything from freeze-dried pickles to freeze-dried ice cream. But no freeze-dried weather. Detective at home, do you want to stay with Batman or would you like to see what the villains Mr. Freeze and the Penguin are up to? Press A to stay with the Dark Knight or B to switch to Penguin and Freeze. <laughs> The Dark Knight worked at his computer in the Batcave. Deep in space, unseen by him, the rocket fired, sending a satellite spiraling into orbit. All through the night, the mysterious satellite steadily progressed through space. By dawn, it was in perfect position. At that precise moment, a preset motor engaged. The satellite opened, forming a giant magnifying glass. The magnifying glass rotated until it was between the sun and the earth, focusing the sunlight in a beam directly on Gotham City. The magnifying glass multiplied the sun's rays so intensely they were ten times stronger than usual. Gotham City was about to cook. Detective, do you want to stay in the Batcave, or do you want to switch to the top of the Birdland building where Mr. Freeze and the Penguin are gleefully preparing to watch Gotham melt? Press 3 to stay in the Batcave, 4 to go to Birdland. At his computer console in the Batcave, Batman stared at the screen. An image of the rocket blasting off appeared. The Cape Crusader adjusted the focus. The image zoomed in until he could just make out the lettering on the side of the rocket. It said, Freeze-Dried Weather. Trouble, sir? Batman's trusted companion and butler, Alfred, stood beside him gazing at the computer screens. What can freeze-dried weather be? This is 2XL. I repeat, this is 2XL. Sorry to interrupt. Somebody help. A heat wave has seized Gotham City. And even my circuits are getting hot. <laughs> listen, listen. My circuits are burning up. Quick, do me a favor. Search for a clear channel. Only one of my button channels are working. Please find it for me. Search, press one of my buttons and find... The clear channel now. Gotham City is in big trouble. Tempers are short. Everybody's blood is boiling. Everyone who can is leaving the city. The roads are jammed. Traffic is at a standstill. Four days have passed. Penguin and Freeze couldn't be happier. Gotham City News is about to come on the air on Channel 2. You heard the guy. Press 2 to listen to the news now. This is Gotham City, all sports radio. There is no time to waste. Detective Buddy in front of me. Switch to channel 2 now. This is Gotham City All News Radio, your ear on the news. But first, a word from our sponsor. Freeze dried weather, the cool breeze has the fresh air coming soon. Yeah. All over Gotham.
Gotham City radios are tuned to all news radio on Channel 2. Because of the heat, it was the only station operating. If you want to listen in with Batman, press A. Or if you want to listen in with Penguin and Mr. Freeze, press C. Press A or C now. <laughs> In the Batcave beneath Wayne Manor, the Dark Knight sat in the sweltering heat and listened to the evening news. Today in Gotham City, temperatures are threatening to reach a blood-boiling 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Citizens are fainting in the street, making easy prey for criminals and pickpockets. Brazen robbers are walking into banks and loan companies, emptying the safes, encountering no resistance from the heat-weary populace. Scientists and meteorologists are at a loss to offer any explanation for this miserable weather. The mayor has promised to make a statement shortly. Stay tuned for further developments. Under Wayne Manor on the outskirts of Gotham City, the secret Batcave is usually a cool place to be. But the unrelenting heat wave changed all that. Batman was sitting at his computer console studying weather patterns, isotherms, isobars, air pressure, and prevailing winds. His trusted butler and friend, Alfred, came in carrying a tray of refreshments. Lemonade, sir? Alfred, I don't think this heat wave has anything to do with natural weather phenomena. Not only in the Batcave, but all over Gotham, the heat wave was taking its toll on the people of the city. Crime was running rampant. If Batman doesn't come to help soon, all of the citizens of Gotham City will be in big, big trouble. Batman was needed at the Gotham Savings and Loan, the Gotham City Municipal Fish Market, and the Fire Department. Where do you want him to go first? Press A for the bank. B for the fish market, or C for the fire department. Press A, B, or C now. The Gotham City Fire Department was in a state of crisis. Because of the intense heat, fires were spontaneously combusting all over the city. The firemen would rush to the blaze, but the only thing that came out of their fire hoses was steam. <laughs> we can't fight fires like this. Somebody's got to do something. <laughs> Batman rushed to the main Gotham fire station. He had devised a special gas that when sprayed on a fire would quickly put it out. He had been planning to give the formula to the fire department. Now was the time. Meanwhile, while all over Gotham, the heat wave was taking its toll on the citizenry. Everyone who could had left town. Those left behind were stuck. Nothing electrical or mechanical worked. People's air conditioners burned out. Electric fans hadn't helped, only pushing the hot air around, making it even hotter. Eventually, there was so much demand for electricity that the power plants had exploded. The endless heat made everyone very angry at everyone else. Everywhere you looked, people were going crazy fighting and arguing. The criminals of Gotham, led by Penguin and Mr. Freeze, were having a field day because there was no resistance to their crime. Gotham City's only hope was Batman. What should Batman do, my little detective friend? He needs your advice in the worst way. He can't be everywhere at once. He has to get to the root of the problem. An emergency news conference with the mayor is just coming on TV. There's a bulletin on the radio. And Batman's special phone line from Commissioner Gordon is ringing off the hook. Press A if you think Batman should listen to the mayor's news conference. B if he should tune into the radio bulletin. Or C if he should speak to Commissioner Gordon. Press A, B, or C now. <laughs> This is Gotham City Television, your eye on the news. Stay tuned for a special broadcast. We are about to go to the mayor's mansion, where a news conference has been called. Now, over to Summer Gleason. Summer Gleason, reporting from the office of Gotham City Mayor Hamilton Hill. Mayor Hill is about to address the general population in regard to the terrible and unrelenting heat wave crippling Gotham City. Mayor Hill? Thank you, Summer, and good afternoon. I know this has been a very difficult time for each and every one of you. Our scientists are working overtime, but at this point we don't know if the heat is caused by a natural thinning of the ozone layer over Gotham City, or just the old solar toaster working overtime. <laughs> uh, the real tragedy here is that certain citizens of our fair city see this as an opportunity to take advantage of others. It's true, crime is running rampant, but I have instructed police 
Police Commissioner Gordon to come down with both feet on the perpetrators. But let me remind you, good citizens, even the darkest cloud has a silver lining. I would like to cite one enterprising establishment that has taken the initiative to make lemonade out of these very sour lemons Mother Nature has seen fit to deal us. The freeze-dried weather store on Gotham Avenue. You just open the pouch, and a little breeze of cold air surrounds you. Batman stared at the TV. He could not believe it. The mayor had said freeze-dried weather store. That was the name Batman had seen on the side of the rocket blasted into outer space. And it was also the name he had discovered on a tiny packet on the wharf by the waterfront. Detectives, buddy, what should Batman do now? Do you think he should go to Gotham Avenue and see what the freeze-dried weather store is about? Or do you think he should first check out the store on his video monitor in the Batcave before he makes a move? Press yes if you think he should go to the store. Press no if he should stay and see it on his monitor. Press yes or no now. In the Batcave, Batman was staring at the TV monitors. Hidden video cameras were secretly set up all over Gotham City, so the world's greatest detective could see any and all goings on, and be there in minutes if need be. Right now, he was looking at the freeze-dried weather store. The intense heat had brought huge crowds. Desperate people were standing in line, winding round the block, and out of sight. That's a very interesting product, Master Bruce. I've seen fit to purchase a few myself. That man looked at his trusted butler and friend, Alfred. He was usually dressed in a pressed white shirt, a black tie, and black suit. Now he was wearing Hawaiian jammies and a matching shirt. Batman was astonished. Alfred, can't you try some, sir? It really is quite refreshing. Just then, on the video monitor, the crowd surged forward. Everyone was waving their money in the air, trying to get inside. You see, sir, all you do is tear the little pouch, and a little puff of cool air surrounds you. Mm, I'd love another. Sure you won't try one, sir? Detective at home, would you be willing to go inside the freeze-dried weather store to see what Penguin and Mr. Freeze are up to? Press yes if you want in. Or no, if you prefer to wait outside for Batman to arrive. Press yes or no now. The sun beat down on the sidewalk outside the freeze-dried weather store. The poor postman, Charlie Lucarelli, was nearly melting into the concrete. He had been standing in line for more than three hours. He peered at the thermometer in the store window. A hundred and thirty-five degrees? Holy Jiminy! Still, Batman didn't show. Wherever he was, he hadn't reached the freeze-dried weather store yet. Police officer Renee Montoya was heading home after finishing her tour of duty. It was so darn hot, her brain was fried. As she drove home at 11 miles an hour, the exact speed recommended so that her tires wouldn't melt and her car wouldn't overheat, she noticed the huge crowd outside the freeze-dried weather store, the new boutique on Gotham Avenue. Gee, I wonder what they're giving away in that joint. i never seen such crowds. Meanwhile, inside, Mr. Freeze and Penguin were congratulating themselves on how brilliant they were. They were standing together in the back of the shop, counting their money. Do you believe what pigeons these birds are. They might as well give us their money. They are. They are. Life is so sweet to me. Just like a hummingbird penguin. Just make sure you don't forget to split the money even. Fifty. Fifty. Who, me? Never. Just you remember to keep filling those little packets with blast from your new cold gun. Good looking detective buddy in front of me. Penguin is about to leave. Do you want to go with him? Stay here at the freeze-dried weather store? Or do you prefer to go find Batman? Press A to stay. B to go with the penguin. Or C for Batman. Press A, B, or C now. Batman was 
not happy. Even the dark night was beginning to be affected by the unrelenting heat. I believe strongly in mind over matter, but this is ridiculous. Despite his special refrigeration unit, the tires of the Batmobile had completely melted into goo. There was nothing more he could do. He programmed the Batmobile to return to the Batcave and watched it slowly drive away, cruising unsteadily on its tire rims. The streets of Gotham were the consistency of peanut butter. Every step Batman made, his feet sank in the pavement and stuck. I better use my Batarang to get off the street. My feet are burning up. Batman threw his Batarang, connected to a strong wire, high into the air. It hooked on a rooftop and he swiftly climbed up. He had the extraordinary feeling someone was watching him. From his vantage point, he looked over the city. He could vaguely make out a faraway chanting. Using his batarang and batline, Batman took off across the city. He saw the astonishing crowd at the freeze-dried weather store. Detected in front of me. Outside the shop, the crowd is unruly, and inside, there seems to be a commotion. Should Batman stay outside, or should he rush inside? Press 1 if you want Batman to stay outside, or 2 if you think he should rush inside. Press 1 or 2 now. From high atop a roof overlooking the freeze-dried weather store, Batman looked down. He couldn't believe what was going on. The crowds were totally unruly. He saw police officer Rene Montoya trying to calm them, but the scene was a madhouse. The crowd was shoving and chanting. Meanwhile, the postman, Charlie Lucarelli, had finally reached the head of the line. What can I do for you, Bob? <laughs> I'll take one, please. One? You've got to be kidding. Nobody takes just one. At that moment, Mr. Freeze peeked out from the back room. He saw Charlie Lucarelli bend down to pull up his socks, which had slipped into his shoes and got an immediate brainstorm. Mr. Muldoon, would you invite that gentleman into my laboratory, please? Sir, you are our thousandth customer of the day. As a token of our appreciation, we would like to offer you these 20 packets of freeze-dried weather. Do I uh, have to pay? Not like you think. <laughs> Drop them. No problem. I got them. As Charlie bent down to pick them up, Mr. Freeze sat him with his cold gun. Charlie was frozen solid. So, well-mannered detective in front of me, what in the world do you think Mr. Freeze wants with a frozen postman? Since the accident that put him in his cold suit, Mr. Freeze has the strength of three men. He lifted Charlie up and carried him off to give to the penguin. Do you want to follow or stay behind to see what happens at freeze-dried weather? Press two to follow or four to stay. Press two or four now. Police officer Rene Montoya glimpsed Mr. Freeze carrying the frozen stiff body of both Charlie Luke of the or of the Detective Child, I need your help. My circuits are so overheated, they're not working properly. If you hear static, press another button until you no longer hear the static. With your help, I can keep an open channel to Batman. Look for a clear channel now. One, now. Okay, now we're cooking. Child detective, in front of me, this is very important. Can you remember exactly where you were in the adventure where the circuits went out of whack? Listen carefully. If you were in a bat plane with a caped crusader talking to Alfred on the radio, press one. If you were with Officer Montoya when she saw Mr. Freeze carrying away that frozen stiff postman, Charlie Lucarelli, press two. 
If you were with the penguin while he was shaking his fist at the moon, press 3. Or if you were with Batman at the freeze-dried weather store when he was swooping down on the penguin's henchmen, Feathers Mahoney and Canary Muldoon, press 4. The little detectives at home, make sure you press the correct button. Otherwise, you might spoil it for yourself at a dark night. Okay, kiss your finger for luck and press one, two, three, or four. Now. <laughs> Police officer Rene Montoya saw a man in a helmet and refrigerator suit carrying the stiff body of Charlie Lucarelli out the back door of the freeze-dried weather store. At first, she thought it was someone just trying to beat the heat, but then her mind snapped into place. Mr. Freeze! You ride back here, Mr. Postman. I have a very interesting new position for you. <laughs> Freeze tossed Charlie in a crate and threw him in the back of a delivery truck. He then gave each tire a little blast from his cold gun so that they wouldn't melt and took off. I think I'll just hitch a ride back here and see where Mr. Freeze is going. You man detective in front of me, Mr. Freeze is heading for the Birdland building where the penguin is waiting. Their plan to take over Gotham City and Freeze Drive Batman is about to be put to the test. Do you want to go directly to Birdland, or do you want to continue following Mr. Freeze with Montoya? Press 1 for Freeze, or 3 for Penguin. Press 1 or 3, now. All around Penguin, his treasured collection of birds twittered and chirped happily. Behind him, the roof door opened, and in walked Mr. Freeze, lugging the enormous crate. Freeze grunted and put the crate down. Oh, what's this? A gift from me to you, with all my best. How thoughtful, Mr. Freeze. Just a little token of my esteem and eternal gratitude. What is it? A bird bath. I love it. Thank you so much, Freeze. It was a horrible thing they had done to the poor postman. He was frozen bending down with a big bowl of water balanced on his back. Birds were happily flapping around in it. I chose him because mailmen have very flat feet. <laughs> this way, it gives you a very secure base. He won't tip over. A couple of blasts for my cold gun, and ta-da, he's solid as an iceberg for a month. Little detective person at home, police officer Montoya has snuck up to the roof. She is watching Penguin and Mr. Freeze right now. She doesn't know that that man is on his way. Should she step out of her hiding place with her gun drawn, or wait for a sure opportunity to make an arrest? Press 2 to make her move out of her hiding place. Or 4 to wait. Press 2 or 4 now. Officer Montoya drew her gun and looked out from her hiding place behind a banana tree in Penguin's rooftop aviary. She could not believe what the two criminals, Penguin and Mr. Freeze, had done to the postman, Charlie Lucarelli. Rocks of birds were flying all around, taking baths on his back, sitting on his head, pecking his ears. As she waited for a chance to make her move, she overheard them making their final preparations. I suspect our black-winged friend will be here at any moment, as soon as he comes. I don't want you to wait. I want you to zap him with that cold gun of yours. <laughs> He'll make a lovely perch for my sparrows. Don't you worry, Penguin. He'll be one cold Megachiroptera. In case you don't know, that's Latin for big bat. I know what it is, bird brain. Now, battle stations! The bat is about to fight! Nice! Who's that? Now, what have we here? Quick, freeze her, freeze! A shadow fell over Mr. Freeze and Penguin. They looked up. There was Batman. Detective Buddy, what should the Dark Knight do to try to capture these criminals? Should he throw his batarang or use the stun gun in his utility belt? Press 1 for the batarang. 
or three for the stun gun. Please caress. One or three now. <laughs> Do now. Mr. Freeze is firing his cold gun right at Batman. What should Batman do? If you want Batman to duck left, press three. If you want Batman to duck right, press four. Press three or four now. <laughs> What do we do now? Batman is frozen solid. The penguin has made him into a bird feeder. I guess there's no hope. I'm so depressed. Should we go on? It's up to you. Press yes or no now. Right on. Never give up hope with Batman. Detective Buddy, I like your spirit. Ready? Set, let's go. Penguin and Mr. Freeze were so busy gloating over their triumph, they did not notice an exotic cassowary bird snacking around looking for food. Penguin had placed dishes of seed all over Batman, and as a result, he was covered with birds of every description. The cassowary spotted one particularly succulent seed wedged in Batman's utility belt. When the big bird went for it, he accidentally pressed an experimental defrost button. Batman had installed the button thinking Robin could use it to assist him, but the cassowary did the job nicely. The defrost system counteracted the effects of the freeze gun, and Batman immediately began to thaw. Hey, you, you cute, good-looking detective in front of me, which of these should Batman do? A, immediately pounce on the penguin and Mr. Freeze. B, wait for the perfect moment and then stun them with gas. Or C, use the batarang to try to tie them up. Please press A, B, or C now. <laughs> The element of surprise is more often than not a decisive element of victory. One moment, Penguin and Freeze were gloating over Batman, and the next, the Dark Knight had defrosted and was looming over them. You two have had it. Ah! Oh. How? What? Who? Give up. I'm taking you to prison where you belong. Not on your life, my black-winged friend! Mr. Freeze aimed his cold gun at the Cape Crusader, but Batman pounced on him, knocking him to the ground. The cold gun skittered across the roof. The cassowary, thinking it was a game, chased after the gun and guarded it like a prized possession. He wouldn't give it back, no matter how much Freeze begged, pecking the cold-hearted creep with his razor-sharp beak. Please, please, <laughs> He's torn my suit. I'm boiling up. Help, Batman. Help. Now who's got the hot hand, Freeze? Hold on a minute. Behind Batman, Penguin made his move. He grabbed for a parachute umbrella and leaped off the roof, hoping to make his escape. But Batman dove after him, fucking him out of the air. You're not going anywhere except to jail, Penguin. Special news report is coming on the air. Detective in front of me. Do you want to hear it on radio? Or do you want to hear the audio portion of the TV report? Press A for radio or B for television now. <laughs> This is Gotham City Radio, your ear on the news. Summer Gleason reporting. This report just in. Tonight, Batman put an end to the horrible heat wave gripping Gotham City with the arrest of the Penguin, Mr. Freeze, and their henchmen and the destruction of a huge magnifying glass hovering over the city. A cataclysmic disaster has been avoided. This is Police Commissioner James Gordon, recorded during a news conference only minutes ago. The Penguin and Mr. Freeze have been remanded to custody in Stonegate Penitentiary. We have Batman to thank. Apparently, there was also some young detective involved. 
but details are sketchy. Also at the news conference was Mayor Hamilton Hill, who despite everything that has transpired, commented on his continued fondness for freeze-dried weather. Police officer Renee Montoya was also present. She said she was much relieved. In addition, the postman kidnapped in the freeze-dried weather store by the Penguin and Mr. Freeze and saved by Batman was present. He had these final words of appreciation. This is Charlie Lucarelli, the mailman. I just wanted to say thanks to Batman, and I know I'll be hearing about your adventures and exploits again. Well, young detective in front of me, this adventure is now over. Remember, the next time you play this program, try different buttons to experience more fun. The adventure may be very different each time you play. Thank you very much for operating me. Batman could not have done it without you. Please push my stop button and then rewind this tape now.